Barstool Sports. Forbes explains what once was a small local newspaper in Boston is now on the verge of becoming a giant media network. However, through their growth through the years, after just one show on ESPN, it got canceled. According to New York Times' Sam Ponder, a host from a different ESPN show, tweeted at Barstool, saying, Welcome to the ESPN family, attaching screenshots of past tweets that were rude and offensive towards her. The show aired its first episode the next day at 1 a.m. Welcome to Barstool Van Talk. Uh, oh, nailed it. Yeah. Welcome to Barstool Van Talk. I'm Big Cat. This is PFT. What's up? We're two guys that started a podcast about 18 months ago called Pardon My Take. It quickly shot to number one in the charts, not to brag. Mm. Hey, PFT, what does one million daily podcast listeners get you? Oh, it gets you a coveted 1 a.m. time slot on ESPN2. Drawing in 88,000 viewers, according to the Washington Post. For being in the graveyard slot, I would say that isn't too bad. The show got canceled with ESPN President John Skipper giving this statement. Effectively, immediately. I am canceling Barstool Van Talk, which we had approval on the content of the show. I erred in assuming we could distance ourselves from the Barstool site and its content. Apart from this decision, we appreciate the efforts of Big Cat and PFT Commenter. They delivered the show they promised. Thus bringing a statement from part of my take, one of the hosts of the show, he said, We are very disappointed to hear the Barstool Van Talk has been canceled by ESPN. We had a great time working on the show, and we're extremely excited about the future. Thank you to all the award-winning listeners, watchers, for supporting us. And thank you to all the great people who worked alongside us at ESPN and Embassy Row. Although we are heartbroken, part of my take will continue to get bigger and stronger every single day. Please subscribe to Part of My Take, unsubscribe and resubscribe, and leave a five-star review to help take some of the sting off this for us. In times like this, we remember what a great philosopher once said, success isn't owned, it's leased, and rent is due every day. Love you guys, Big Cat, PFT, and Hank. Will Barstool continue to grow, or will this hiccup be the ultimate plateau and soon to be the end of this media empire. What right. happened with you guys in ESPN? Was that was that a bad fit to begin with, or or did they screw you? Uh, I would say they screwed us. It was also a bad fit. They liked Dan and they liked PFT, so they like uh, they like part of my take. It was popular. It was big. They didn't like Barstool. They never liked Barstool. I knew they didn't like Barstool. They looked me across the table and say we don't like Barstool, but we like them. Dave Portney, the president of Barstool, according to. Uh, Sports Illustrated, said that ESPN needed us more than we need them. According to Forbes, the value of Barstool is within the range of $10 million to $15 million. And back to Portney's claim that ESPN needed them more than Barstool needed them is evident with the financial comfort Barstool has, as well as the fact that ESPN laid off approximately 150 employees this year. And after all, the ESPN show was not the only big networks giving the, this ragtag group a chance. According to SiriusXM, Barstool will have a radio show with unfiltered talk on sports, life, and all things entertainment. Have a seat. Dave Portnoy is here, our, uh, the latest person to be in charge of a channel. Yeah. <laughs> here at SiriusXM. That's right. It's Rush Channel 93. Uh, well, that's where the show's on. Right. Well, Barstool is on uh, 12 to 2 uh, on Rush Channel 93, but you guys are getting your own channel here. Right. And it's still going to be 93. I think we're just flipping the name. To the Barstool Oh, so they're giving channel. you Rush? Yeah. So is everybody at Rush like, fuck Barstool? I'm trying to stay away from the Rush people because I don't know what's happening. What <laughs> they're going to be fucking yeah. pissed. What is Rush? It's combat sports. But is it, we're not going to have that channel anymore. That's, Maybe it's moving. I don't know. Now hilarious. we're getting deep into like <laughs> the guts of what's happening in the series, which I don't have the answer to. Okay. I know this. I know that's our channel. They're going to be pissed, dude. Yeah. So the, if there was a combat channel on there, it's not going to be on there come January. So clearly, they are in no way, shape, or form ready to give up their dreams yet. 